Hey, I'm Nick. Today on Questions and Answers, we're talking about knots. All right, the goal of the entire series is to provide you guys with personal one-on-one -on -one feedback. Uh, we don't have that experience anymore because we don't spend much time in the tackle shop outside of seminar series. Um, so that's the goal, and the only way we can do that is if you guys provide us with your name. So the first person who filled out the survey and asked the question did not provide us with the name. So we've actually added some more questions to the survey to make it a little more personal and for us to grab a little more feedback. Um, We've asked uh, where you fish from and what you fish from, whether it's boat, kayak, wade fishing, whether you fish in Texas or the east coast of Florida, it's irrelevant. Just uh, fill out the information so we can provide you guys the best possible answers. That being said, the first question was about knots, and the question was what kind of knots do you use when fishing for redfish and speckled trout? Uh, very simple answer, um, uh, probably two of the most common knots. When we connect our braid to fluorocarbon, we use a modified Albright knot. It's very, very easy to tie, especially when connecting 15 pound braid to 15 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, it's strong, small diameter, holds up well when cast through your guides for all day or for multiple days. We don't ever have any problems with it breaking and there's no reason to change if your knots aren't breaking. So when we connect that knot to fluorocarbon, we use a six foot section of fluorocarbon. So we have plenty of room to retie lures throughout the day. When we connect our lures to fluorocarbon, we use a non-slip mono loop knot. Now, it's also a very, very easy knot to tie. Um, there are other knots like a canoe man loop knot, which are all great knots. Really, it doesn't matter what knot you're using if you're tying it correctly. So keep that in mind. You have no reason to rush out, you know, watch this video and pick up two new knots. If you're using knots that work, continue using them by all means. Uh, there are plenty of tutorials on the non-slip mono loop knot and the modified Albright knot on YouTube and throughout Google. So do some research, figure out which ones you like. Uh, AnimatedKnots.com, I believe it is. It's a great series on that and it makes your life a lot easier. Um, other than that, that's question number one. Question number two will come out next week. The link is below to submit your questions. Make sure you take the time to add your name, where you fish, and what you fish from. We like to hear that information and it will help us give you guys the best feedback. And as always, I look forward to you guys booking your next adventure.